tornado alert. There's the title page. Tornadoes are powerful storms. On a tornado day, the air is hot and still. Clouds build up rapidly. They get thick and dark. In the distance, there is thunder and lightning, rain and hail. Here and there, parts of the clouds seem to reach toward the ground. Should these parts grow larger and become funnel shaped, watch out. The funnels could become tornadoes. The funnel of a tornado is usually dark gray or black. It may also be yellowish or red. The colors come from red and yellow dirt picked up by the tornado as it moves along the ground. Tornadoes can strike most anywhere, but usually they happen where there is a lot of flat land. Most tornadoes occur in Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and Missouri. Florida also has a lot of tornadoes. Tornadoes can touch down over seas and lakes. When that happens, they are called water spouts. Most tornadoes occur during April, May, and June. That's when cold air meets warm air near the Earth's surface. The cold air pushes under the warm air. The warm air is lighter than the cold air and rises rapidly. As the warm air moves upward, it spins around or twists. That's why tornadoes are sometimes called twisters. Some people call them cyclones. The wind speed around the funnel of a tornado may reach 300 miles an hour. No other wind on earth blows that fast. This picture shows the cold air diving down and the hot air rising up. And that's how they form the funnel cloud. As the hot air rises, it also spreads out. It makes a funnel of air with the small part of the funnel touching the ground and the large part in the dark clouds. Air all around the tornado moves in toward the funnel. At the same time, storm winds push the twisting funnel, moving it along the earth. During tornado season in the United States, there may be 40 or 50 tornadoes in one week. <clears throat> Sometimes there are many more. Most are small. Usually a tornado blows itself out in less than an hour. Some last only a few seconds. Small tornadoes don't travel far and they cause very little damage. Big tornadoes destroy everything in their paths. They may travel 200 miles and last for several hours. During a tornado, there is thunder and lightning, rain and hail, and there is lots of noise. It can sound as loud as a freight train or a jet engine. The word tornado comes from a Latin word that means thunder. Some of the noise does come from the thunder, but most of it comes from the roaring wind. There is lots of noise and lots and lots of wind. Tornadoes are very powerful. 
and some cause a lot of damage. Tornadoes can pick up branches and boards, stones and bricks, cars, and sometimes even people. They can rip off roofs and leave a trail of wrecked houses. A tornado's path may be only 20 or 30 feet wide, or it might be a thousand feet or more, maybe even a mile. In 1931, a tornado in Minnesota lifted a train off its tracks. The train and its passengers were carried through the air and dropped 80 feet from the tracks. There were 170 people on board. Though many people were hurt, only one person was killed. But in 1974, a series of tornadoes in Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and 10 other states killed 315 people in just 24 hours. <clears throat> Do you know how long 24 hours is? 24 hours is one day. Scientists keep a close watch during tornado season. They use satellites that see storms developing, and there is radar to detect tornadoes. Tornado spotters are people who watch for tornadoes. They tell radio and television stations to warn the people about tornadoes when the twisters are still far away. The warnings tell people to go to a safe spot where the tornado can't hurt them. If a tornado is on its way, here's what you should do. Go to a nearby storm cellar. Storm cellars are underground rooms with heavy doors and they are safe. Also, another safe place would be a, um, a safe room like we have at school. Some houses have safe rooms too. If you're in a mobile home, Get out of it. A tornado can rip apart a mobile home even when it is tied down with strong cables. Lie face down in a ditch and cover your head with your hands. When you're in a ditch, sticks and stones flying through the air can't hit you. So see how this person is laying down low in this ditch so that if something flies through the air, it goes over the ditch and it doesn't hit the person. If you're in a house, go to the basement and crouch under the stairs or under a heavy workbench. Or you can go to a closet that's far from any outside walls. Be sure to keep far away from windows. The wind could smash them and send splinters of glass through the air. If you're in school, follow directions. Your teacher will take you to your safe room. These children don't have a safe room in their school, so they're in a hall. They crouch down on their knees near a wall and they bend over and they put their hands behind their head. But most important thing is to keep away from glass windows. And if you're at school, our safe room, you would call, crawl underneath your desk or your table, the one that was closest to you when it was time for us to take shelter. If you're out in the country in a car, don't try to race the tornado. Get out and find a ditch to lie in. When there's a tornado, there is also thunder and lightning. So be sure to keep away from anything that's metal and from anything that uses electricity. Lightning can travel along metal pipes and also along electric and telephone wires. So these people are a long way away from all of those electric wires <clears throat> and telephone poles that they're in a ditch and they're safe. 
listen to a radio, a battery radio. The radio will tell you when the storm has passed by. Stay where you are safe until you are sure the tornado is over. Tornadoes are scary. Even if you are not right in the funnel, there is heavy rain all around, dark skies, thunder, lightning, and lots of wind. Often, there will be hailstones. They may be as big as a golf ball, or maybe even bigger. You might also hear the tornado sirens, and those can be scary as well. Don't panic. Know what to do when there's a tornado and know where to go. There is no way to stop tornadoes, but you can be safe from them when you know what to do. And here are the tornado rules. Don't panic. Listen. Look and follow directions. Boys and girls, this can be a scary time of the year when our weather gets stormy and Oklahoma is well known for having a lot of tornadoes, but I don't want you to be scared. If there's a tornado in your area, the safest thing you can do is either go to the bathroom and cover yourself up with a big blanket, maybe in the bathtub, or you can go to a closet and make sure you close that closet door as well. You can also hide in a, an inside hallway. There are lots of things you can do to be safe. Listen to um, the weather reports. You can listen to those on your phone or your, your tablet. But the most important thing is don't panic. You'll be okay if you listen to instructions. I'll see you later. Have a nice day.